What if we were not alone? What if the hundreds of thousands of people claiming to have seen unidentified flying objects in fact had been witnessing extraterrestrial spacecraft? What if the thousands of people all over the world who tell about their encounters with alien beings through friendly contact or even forced abductions were actually telling the truth? What if our governments had known about an ET presence for more than half a century? If they were in possession of alien technology that had the potential of changing how our world is run? and they chose to keep the public in the dark through a secret campaign of suppressed information. What if that campaign acted as a chain around the ankles of humanity, keeping us from rising to a whole new level of consciousness and understanding of ourselves, our planet, and the universe around us? And what if that campaign ended tomorrow? They could stop, they could absolutely stand still, and they could go Mach 10 or more at any time. I didn't know what it was, but I knew it was not of this earth. And it was at least twice the size of a 740, it's like two Boeing 747 airliners nose to tail. They were about four feet tall. They had that same large cranial structure, the giant black sweeping eyes almost no nose, a hint of a mouth. I know there are craft. I know those craft have shut down nuclear missiles. I know they're seen over bases, military bases. A proportion of bases. UFO sightings that cannot be explained in convention. The little ones took me to the door, let go of my hand, and I walked on board the craft with these two tall, long... I recalled going into the craft. I recalled an examination, being on a table. I recalled seeing a lot of equipment. Uh, I recalled uh, another being besides the greys in the background that appeared to be supervising the, uh, the abduction, the event, and the examination. She woke up one morning and there was no pregnancy. The President of the United States, the titular leader of the free world, himself cannot get to UFO information, which leads, of course, to... I've concluded that there are many different kinds of beings that come from elsewhere in the cosmos. And these beings of many different types have their own agenda. First, the evidence is overwhelming that planet Earth is being visited by intelligently controlled extraterrestrial spacecraft. In other words, the scientific community is relentlessly hostile. It's not that they're puzzled or even just skeptical. They are relentlessly hostile to the subject and increasingly this so the over the years. Case. And we've got clear ground evidence. The cow. In 1947 at Roswell, that technology would be so superior to human technology. We are being visited and have been visited by uh, uh, alien spacecraft and alien beings. And our governments around the world have covered it up. There's no question in my mind. I'm a journalist. I've been a journalist for almost 40 years. And I know because I've seen them, because I've seen creatures. They didn't really know what they were dealing with. They also did not understand the technologies. And uh, I think that they also didn't know why these visitors were here. For example, the big increase in all the sightings around the world happened at the time when we began to detonate nuclear weapons. And this is not an accident. I found the object is covered with a biological membrane which seems to prevent the... I think what we are seeing in the United States is a transition from an earlier policy of official denial to a new policy of openness. UFOs exist, they come from outside this planet, and it's time to do something about it. It's one of these currents of history that won't be denied. The truth is going to come out, and when it does, it's going to be explosive. So, once we get that out, we will go back and completely reassemble the 20th century, rewrite it in a way, uh, and may have to go back and rewrite a significant portion of the entire last 12,000 years. This is the greatest story in human history. And the reason it is the greatest story in human history, it is the greatest story of human history.